I'm Brad Schluter. This is the first in a video series based on my article, Stick Twisters, Nine Ways to Practice the Impractical, that I wrote for the October 2015 issue of Drum Magazine. In this first lesson, we're going to talk about ways to strengthen your weak hand. For most of us, it's our left hand. And one of the best ways to do that, to increase your coordination, increase the strength of your left hand, um, and to use it a lot more is simply learn to play beats leading with your left hand. In other words, play them open-handed or even-handedly. That doesn't mean you won't play right-handed anymore. It just means that you'll also learn to play left-handed. And in the practice room, if you work on these things, over time your coordination will get a lot better and your left hand will get stronger. And also you'll be sort of able to sort of think with your left hand rather than just have it sort of follow the right hand around the kit with whatever it does. It can become more, more of a dominant hand where it's become the lead hand. If you think about drummers like Lenny White, Billy Cobham, Simon Phillips, Will Kennedy, Carter Beauford, and a number of other great drummers who play uh, either left-handed on a right-handed kit or an ambidextrous approach to a kit, um, they have such unique sounds and have such fantastic uh, fills, partly because, and even their beats too, often because the right hand is free to do things on the kit that normally uh, this sort of thing is possible, but certainly it's more awkward. I've got two exercises for you that I'm going to share. Both are relatively simple, um, though you can obviously make the beats and the fills that I'll be demonstrating more and more complicated if you choose. The first one is relatively simple. You're just going to play left-handed beats with right-handed fills. So you play a right-handed fill, hit the crash, and go back to the left hand on the hi-hat immediately after the crash. So if you're thinking in 4-4, four, four, typical beat, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 e and a 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 e and a 1 and 2 and 3 and sort of thing. So I'm coming back to the hi-hat on the note after the crash, which usually is going to be the end of 1. Now, if you want to take this a little bit further, um, what I'm going to do on this next exercise is noticeably harder. Um, we're also going to be doing uh, simple beats and simple fills. However, now we'll also be doing left-handed fills. And, of course, this uh, is certainly more complicated and requires more coordination and um, certainly more awkward when you first start doing it. But the way I'm going to show to do it is, is actually not just to do left-handed fills. Um, we're going to be switching back and forth. So, I'll start with a left-handed fill, go to a left-handed beat, then I'll do a right-handed fill, go to a right-handed beat, go to a left-handed fill, go to a left-handed beat, go to a right-handed fill, go to a right-handed beat. That sort of thing back and forth. 